Hey, Brian Young here. We're back, and I'm giving you the overview for part two of the Proven Book Sourcing course. I just want to say congratulations for getting this far. Again, as I said in the other intro, only about 3% of people that buy information products even open up the course, take off the metaphorical cellophane. And so not only are you part of the 3%, but I think it's only like 1% that actually gets through the entire course. So you're in the top 1% of people who purchase this course regarding your dedication and your determination to get through the information and to apply it for your business. So I'm just, I just want to say congratulations. I'm so glad you're here. I'm honored. And I just want to give you a quick overview of part two of our book sourcing series. So here's a, here's a general outline of the videos you can expect. Again, these videos are heavily uh, entrepreneurial in strategy and philosophy and theory. So I think it's really going to help you take your business from maybe the S quadrant, the self-employed quadrant, to the B quadrant, the business quadrant. So let's take a look at the, the videos you can expect to see in this part of the course. The first two videos are on the risk of training in future competition. Now I think this, is, this has to be the number one, with an asterisk, reason why people don't hire other people to work for their businesses. I mean, I ask them all the time, they say they're stressed out. I mean, they show pictures of, of them just being overwhelmed with inventory. And if you've, if, you've if you've done six figures in a year selling on Amazon, you know it's a lot of work. And we did it, we've, d we've done it, we did it a couple of years. And we would fill up our, our dining room with packages, it was just, it was it was a lot of fun at first, but then after a while, it got really stressful. And, and so, so a lot of people are at that, that state in their business right now, but they hesitate because they're worried that if they you know pull back the curtain on this very profitable operation that is reselling products on Amazon, they're, all they're going to be doing is inviting future competition. And worse than that, they're going to be training in their future competition. The fear is, is that these very people will be sourcing books or sourcing products in the same geographical area using the same criteria. And that could be very disastrous for a business. So in this two-part series, I talk about that risk. And I, I really what I hope that that series does is puts a lot of these misconceptions about the ambitions of people that you might hire to rest. Next is a very, very, very important video on knowing your numbers. Now it's really important the planning strategy of your business to know how many books you need what type of profitability you need to to make everything work for you and to have some some short and long-term plans and so in this video i share with you how much could, if you wanted to make a thousand dollars per week in net profit how many books would you need to have an inventory and obviously these are estimates generally speaking on average how many books would you need or the other question I asked is if you had 25,000 books in your inventory right now and they all met a certain criteria, what could you expect the payout to be on those books? I think this video is going to be very helpful in you just kind of wrapping your mind and visualizing what this book selling business could do for you. The next video is on positioning your people, your employees, or your independent contractors for success. You really want to put the people that you hire in a position to succeed. Now, in the online selling world, people are, you know, I, I know a lot of sellers that will hire people to work for them and they have a high turnover rate. And it could be financial compensation. It could be other types of appreciation and recognition that, that people gen, genuinely desire. Or it could be something else. Maybe you're just not positioning them for success. And so following the principles that lie, lie out in this video, you will hopefully get some tactics and some ideas on how you can position your people to, to succeed, to make you money, and then in turn make them money as well. But again, I just want to say congratulations for making this far. You're of the select few. I'm really excited to see how this last part of this book sourcing program is going to bless your business. Thanks again for watching, and we'll chat with you in a bit.